What's good guys, it's your boy Freddie Wilson and this is another episode of Lovely Chat, yeah. So today's guest I'm gonna take a line from a O to a 9 Nah, I never made it to them 5 on 5s 5 on 5 of the dubs and the dark If I was to explain, if I was to explain his music, I would say like old school street rap with like sprinkles of gems that I really like about listening to your projects I feel like each mixtape like each piece fits well with the whole project so there's not really like a tune that doesn't really fit like it feels cohesive like when you talk about the project this is for my real ones that be feeling what I'm speaking this is for my young ones on the street side oh, illing for my young ones on the come up where the roads stay killing uh, mummy on the sniff now pups been missing uh, on the strip on the grind till the sun goes missing and I like the fact that even though there's some like dark or sad or things that you've been through, it feels like you've overcome them and you're just giving thanks. So like you're just yeah, that's like, sure. you yeah. get it. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm here with the one, the only Ox, Ox Monica's son. That's yeah. Good. So the first question, hello, what one? You good? Yeah. yeah Welcome yeah. to the channel and that. Yeah. So the first question I want to ask you is your name, Ox Monica's son. Yeah. Why that name and what was the process? of like coming up with that name. I'm guessing like your mum's name is Monica. Isn't it? Yeah, my mum's name is Monica. Cool, cool. So that uh, why why did you choose the, is it Ox Monica Sun? Yeah, Ox Monica Sun. Ox Monica Sun. So as in OX Monica Sun. Yeah, yeah. It's Ox Monica Sun if you can say it. Yeah. As in, right, the artist is Ox Monica Sun. Okay, cool, yeah. So why why that name? Um so it's kinda of weird it's, it's it's more simpler than it kinda of looks. So basically my name's my name's Akimite. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. That's my name, like my government name, Akimite. Yeah. And it's spelled as in O K I E, Akimite. Yeah. Like M U T E. So when I was in school, like I'm talking like the end of primary school, mm. the end of secondary school, certain people used to call me Ox. I don't okay. know how that came about, <laughs> but it was always short. Yeah. Akimite turned to Oki. Okay. And then Oki turned to Ox. Okay. So through the whole of my like high school like life. It was your ox, and I got a cousin that lives in Liverpool. Yeah. And his name's Akimite. Okay. And they call him Ox. Mm, okay. like whenever I went to Liverpool to see him, people, everyone called him Ox. And you tell so me they that? just sank there. I was like, <laughs> right, it's Ox. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when it came to this music stuff, mm. like I don't know my mum in it. Like, okay. I never grew up with my mum. So like mm. I grew up with my dad in Nigeria. I was yeah. born in Nigeria. And my mom and dad, I was too young to really understand what happened in it. Okay. All I know is, as I grew up as a kid, as a baby or whatever, my mom went there and okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was with my dad and I had siblings, like sisters and mm. brothers and that, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I never really got a chance to meet her till like 2000 and 2009. That's okay. when I met my mom for the first time, cool. do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it was a thing where she'd been through so much, again, and when this thing really started popping up for me, like in terms of like, the music thing, the, the whole thing was, was great. Because first of all, I was just calling myself Ox for real. Yeah, yeah. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna call. I'm gonna put the Monica on the end of it mm. and just make it Ox Monica Son to dedicate to her. Okay, cool. You know what I'm yeah, so yeah. the whole thing was there's even lyrics where I say in some of the mixtapes that you're talking about, yeah, yeah. like you're gonna get everything back that you lost. Like, okay. That's from my mum. You feel oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, for like real. I'm making her live like beyond it. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. you, you don't know my mum, mm. but now you kind of, you got you know about this woman that lives in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or Monica, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? And that was the whole idea. You know okay, saying? cool. And I like the way it sounds, like it sounds like a pun. It sounds like Ox, Monica's son. Okay, as well. Okay, so okay. I like, I like that's, that. I don't know for that. Yeah, yeah for real. like you say it fast, yeah. it sounds like that. So you grew up in Nigeria. Yeah. Delta State. Yeah, Delta. Yeah, Delta State. Delta State, yeah. In a city called Worry, yeah. Called Worry, yeah. Yeah, so what what was it like growing up there? Like can you remember any like songs from back in back then that resonates with you now? Or is it like, I remember stories more than songs. I yeah. remember like the little I remember the, it's in the turtle and the hair. Yeah. They, they told that story when I was really young in school and they told that the the lion, the, the boy who cried lion. 
Okay. Over here is the boy who cried wolf. Okay, Nigeria cool. is the boy who cried <laughs> lion. Yeah. And that story was embedded in my head from when I was little. Yeah. The boy went to the forest and it was a lion that ate him. Yeah, there was no this wolf thing. Yeah, yeah. Lion, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I remember little tales and yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like, and I just remember playing, man. Like, yeah. When I tell you how many times I hurt myself, bro, I cut my head. I cut my like on the top of my eye. I mm. cut my arm. But all this is from playing. I broke my ankle from jumping from some trees. Yeah. And I used to jump out of trees and that. Like, <laughs> well, this is crazy. Like, man, I sugar in my garden, bro. Like, man, I had this thing called papa. It's like a like a like a um, orangey looking. No, it's a fruit. Oh, okay. It's got loads of seeds in it. It's okay. really sweet. Papa. Mm. We had loads of stuff about like chewing in our garden, bro. When I think back at it now, mm. bro, it was amazing, man. But we did loads of dangerous things as kids, mm. like playing in big, massive industrial gutters, yeah, that like lead, like lead into rivers, and, and if you slipped, the water would have took you and you're doing all this stuff as a three-year-old, four-year-old. Do you know what I'm saying? I just remember it being free, man. Like, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm. And like, even one of the biggest memories that I really stick to is Christmas Day. Yeah, mm. Check this one, Christmas Day. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know about presents mm. until I come to England. Okay. I didn't know cool. about Christmas trees. I didn't know about Father Christmas till I come to England. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, on Christmas Day, you would put your best clothes on. Mm. Yeah. This is the 25th. Mm. You put them on December. Yeah. You put your best garments on, and you would go to all your brethren's yards. Yeah. And all the all your neighbors' yards. Mm. Yeah. Like not while they're there. Yeah. So you would be going into people's yards while, while they're, they're going, going to your yard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so like going like Yeah, everyone's yeah. going to everyone's yard yeah, yeah, like yeah. and eating. Do you see what I'm saying? Down. And they're celebrating. Yeah, and then yeah, by the time you come home, mm. there'll be people in your yard. Some of your friends might be there. Yeah. And remember right. there's no phones and that. Yeah. Some of your friends would be there. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, it's crazy, bro. But yeah, it's just right. a good time, man. Yeah. So it's like looking back, do you feel like you didn't want to leave Nigeria? At the time, I think I was like nine, ten years old. It's yeah. not matter if you don't want to leave, you're just following it. Yeah, you're just, just going with the top. But it's just in the dark times over here, I, that's what I drew upon. Yeah. Like, why am I here? Do you know what I'm saying? And someone like me, I never got my British passport till like three years ago. I swear I've been no. here for like 20 odd years. So what? I had a state, I had like an indefinite stamp on okay. my Nigerian passport. Yeah, yeah. So, for that, it's still restricted how I can move. I can go to certain places on holiday, yeah. but not where people with a British passport. Oh, okay. you know, I have to get a visa. visa yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of restrictions, so you move a certain way. Mm. And my dad was heavy on me. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm so rest in peace, dad got shit. Yeah, he was yeah. heavy on me, so like, the way I moved, it, it, was, it was weird. Man. England was England, a different thing, man. Mm. England was a different thing. Yeah, was so like from Niger to the 12th, Shepherd's Bush. Yeah. Like when you came from Niger with Shepherd's Bush, yeah, you know, we moved straight to Shepherd's Bush. Okay, yeah. cool. Was there like any culture shocks or anything that you're like, bro? These people, I know you bro, spoke about Christmas, so many, bro, yeah. I know you spoke about Christmas, but was there any other things where you're like, bro? bro I remember people, assembly, yeah. I remember assembly, yeah. yeah. Sitting in assembly bro, in primary school, yeah? yeah. And these two blonde girls, bro. You see when you're watching them like programs on TV, yeah. Like, and the girls are really blonde. The little yeah. girls, they're like six or seven or something, and they're extra blonde with ponytails, yeah. With, yeah. With stuff with ribbons inside, and <laughs> that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cause man watched better American movies yeah, in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like yeah. a big thing. Movies yeah, yeah. a big thing over there. So I'm sitting in assembly, and these two little white girls they turn around, yeah, to me, yeah. What's your name? Kenote. They're trying to say my name, yeah. Bro. Fam, I don't <laughs> like, fam, I thought I was in a dream. Bro, bro I was half scared, half thinking, what's it? Like, thinking, right, this looks like a film. Uh, bro, it was mental, bro. It was mental, bro. It was mental, bro. Oh, it was mental. There's bare little thing, bro. Seeing people being rude to their parents yeah, for the first time mm. blew me away, bro. I think I might have been 11. Yeah. Went to my cousin's yard. Mm. And I'm hearing my cousin tell his mum and that. Ah, uh, mum, sure, sure. Mum, nah, mum, you shut up, bro. Da, da, da. That's my... I'm looking, I'm looking at my sister. I'm hitting my sister like my sister's like six years older than me. I'm hitting my sister like, can you stop? Like, we, bro, I couldn't believe it, bro. Yeah, no. I couldn't believe it. I was hearing stuff that if you said that, you'd be on the stairs, bro. You'd be on the ground. Bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Worry not, be joke. If you know, you know. I'm from Niger, Danny. It remains in my soul.
you remember like your first UK rapper or like your first UK song, like rap song? Um, that, I, that I really like? Yeah, yeah. Or just... Um, in terms of, from a UK person? Yeah, yeah. It was probably Return of the Map. It was probably the first big one that, like, because so solid and all these things. Yeah. And, and and like Rodney P and mm. all these type of people, I didn't gravitate to that. Yeah, like yeah. I was more listening to American. American yeah, yeah, yeah. I was more listening to R yeah, 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 yeah. and that type of stuff. So, that I was really young. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when my man made that tune for you, like in terms of the UK rap yeah, like, yeah. kind of thing, that was a big tune. That was yeah. a big tune. But then in terms of like people making a noise, so solid it was probably. The first, the first that we saw on we thought, right, oh sh yeah, this is real. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so solid, so solid, that was serious. Yeah, that's so solid movie. That, that was really serious. good. That was serious, man. Yeah, so do you have a top three UK rappers? Um, I wouldn't say that off the, on the spot. Let me have a think about it. <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. Okay, we'll come back to that. So, so you're giving us like a few projects over the yeah. years, so, like with the whole with the whole few from the 12, like one, two and three. Yeah. So I went to play like a quick game now for but not a game but like yeah. a question. It's called Netflix and Kill Yeah. yeah. So out of the three mixtapes, yeah, if you could if you had the chance to make one into like a visual album yeah. that streamed on Netflix, yeah. which one would it be? And if you had to kill one yeah. for life, like yeah. no one can listen to it again, which one would it be? Okay. So like which one would you want like to Make like a visual album stream and why? And which one would you kill out of the three? I'll probably kill two. Really? Yeah. I would have to kill two. I'd have no choice. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I, I had to. I have no choice. I had to. If I had to. Wow. Yeah. Two. If so if I had to. So if they were your kids, yeah. yeah. Two if, it, if I had to take him, like Abraham, <laughs> I had to take you yeah. to meet God and say, yeah. I'm gonna chop him up. Yeah. I'd have to kill two. Yeah. Hoping God's gonna say, oh, stop. Yeah, you don't have to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'll probably, probably be too. And yeah. if you say the other question about turning it into a. a I would say, say one. One, yeah. Yeah, because one, you see, one, bro. Yeah. Like emotionally, it took a lot for me to make that mixtape. She said, she said. Yo. She see it in my eyes, she said, she see the pain. Kind of different, all these brothers kind of seem the same. I wrote a lot of that while I lived in the hostel. Oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. And it was literally maybe a year or two after coming out of the section. So yeah. it was to that self belief, like I had to fill myself up with that. Yeah, and yeah. get up in the morning in this little hostel, small room. Yeah. I tell myself, bro, you're a star, bro. It don't matter where you are right now. Like, mm. You're a star. And with all humbleness, you're blatantly a star. Like, and I had to remind myself all the achievements that I had done. Yeah. Sometimes if you're in a bad place, it's hard to remember all the good things that you've done. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Especially if there's no one there to remind you, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, part one was and, I, and and another thing with part one, another reason I say that, I never really shot any videos per se. Okay. For part one. Because I just wasn't in that space. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it was more about the music and the therapy of the music at the time. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really about me trying to make this music and put it out there for better people to see. It wasn't really that. I just wanted to make this music because it was making me feel better and it was making like making me able to live. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it, it was that, yeah, definitely part one. Right? So is that the order you put them in as well? From which one you rate to which one you don't? So does it go one, three, two? Uh, no, it's weird. All right. So for me, yeah. Mm. I'm a music person in terms of I know music. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of running order, it's three, one, two. Okay. Yeah. In terms of quality. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But my favorite one is the one is one one. Oh, okay, cool. Do you know what I'm saying? My yeah. favorite tape is one one. Because there's songs in there that, that, that you back to like. I wrote them at four in the morning, like yeah, five yeah. in the morning, like just like trying to find myself. Like, do you mm. know what I'm saying, bro? And them songs hit people, and then people connected with them, and I didn't really expect that. Yeah, okay, you know cool. I'm saying? I yeah, didn't expect that. So on on your song until the end of time, yeah, and mixtape two, yeah. you talk about 
praying for your enemy. Yeah. Do you pray for your enemy? Yeah, man. I said the Lord's Prayer, man. Yeah, why? The Lord's why? Prayer is like, the Lord's Prayer is something that's mad important. Yeah. Because it kind of, it, it's a constant. Yeah. Like in, in the up and down of things. Because mm. life is up and down. Yeah. It's very up and down. You know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. Whoever you are in the world, no matter how much money you have in your pocket, yeah. life is up and down. We've all seen that with what's happened with this corona. No matter how much money you have in your pocket, that's, that's touched you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy. Like, death touches everyone. It doesn't mm. matter who you are. It doesn't matter how much money you have. So for me, the Lord's Prayer is something that I try to pray every day. Yeah. And I try to make it humble me and yeah. keep me level. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And praying for my enemies is a part of it. Yeah. Because if I don't, I'm a hypocrite, bro. Yeah, not for Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I don't, I'm a hypocrite. Because if I walk in, if I say I'm walking in love and I'm walking, thanking God and walking in faith and walking in grace mm -hmm. and I ask the Lord for more grace, I ask God for more grace. Mm -hmm. I've got to give something in exchange. Yeah, I've got yeah. to make sure my heart gets cleaner. I've got to make sure it gets less muddier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the biggest thing that I ever done was not going and seeking revenge for certain acts and certain things that's happened in my life. Yeah. So, yeah, but I, I, I do, I surely do pray for my enemies yeah. because you can even look at it in a different way. Like, I pray for them, man. Like, yeah. I pray for them because, <laughs> yeah. like, Look at all the stuff that happened to me, like I'm still mm. here and I'm still walking in love. So I, yeah. I truly do pray for you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, something's carrying me and yeah. bringing me here and keeping me with all the scars on my body. Mm. And something's keeping me here and keeping me walking in faith yeah. and love. So I pray for you because you at one stage you looked upon me and said, right, yeah, I done it that. Or I looked upon me and said, right, look at my man, he's a waste man. What happened to my man? He fell off. Yeah. Or whatever it may be. So yeah, I pray for you. Right. And if you wish bad on me, I definitely pray for you. Yeah. Because not only touching yeah. me. Yeah. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. So I, bro, <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish you extra well. Nah, I do, I do. I do. When, I, yeah, when I heard that, I was like, yeah, I like that. Yeah, man, levels, man. It's one of the toughest things, though. I'm mm. going to lie to you, bro. That big man thing. One of the toughest things, bro. Mm. One of the toughest things. Bro. Going back, like at the beginning, I said I gave a description of what I think your sound is, yeah. yeah. Or like in your own words, how would you describe the music that you do? Like it's literally reality rap, bro. Reality rap. It's reality rap. It's hip hop. Yeah. Because I'm a hip hop. Like I'm a hip hop child. Like, yeah. Hip hop and R and B. Yeah. But I, like hip hop, man, spent so much time listening to this shit and so much time filming people doing this shit and it's just something that's mm. running in my brain innit? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's reality rap if I'm gonna break down to my thing it's reality rap music that's yeah, what it yeah. is but it's hip hop rap music but it's reality rap music because none of this shit is like made up yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah, like, yeah. all this shit no rap like, yeah because <laughs> like, I understand rap is like music is entertainment so a lot of rappers will tell me right this is entertainment this mm. shit ain't really happening but you listen to my music, I'm not telling you I'm going to go shoot some guy yeah. and blow some guy's head off. It's really rap, man. Mm -hmm. It's really what I've lived, it's really what I see every day and what I've experienced and what goes on inside my head. Cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Man? Yeah, cool. So let's get more into the music then. So in Fad to the Music, yeah. there's a line that you say, I do this for my brothers, yeah, my brothers never made it here. Joe Cell, so my brother Ray, Ray, yeah, I miss you, bro. Rest in peace, yeah, I'll see you up in heaven, though. I'm the realest, yeah, I'm the realest, yeah I do this for my brothers, yeah, my brothers never got here I'm the realest, yeah, I'm the realest, yeah I do this for my brothers, yeah, my brothers never made it here Fr It just went over my head And it's only when I went on your Insta to get some more research about you And that, that I understood what that line meant I can explain what that line means to you Like, so, there's guys like Namo, yeah, Yomi, yeah. Shola Mm. Um, David, these guys are guys that I grew up with in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you got my brother Raymond. You got yeah, my brother yeah. Henry. My brother Henry came here as a kid. Yeah, yeah. but he was wild, didn't he? So okay. at 13 years old, they took him back to Nigeria, and he never come back here. Really? Yeah. He never come back here. I sat down with my man yeah, in 2009, bro. Big man, fam. My man was in his 40s, fam. My man was balling, bro. Yeah, mm. saying, bro, he ain't got a mom, he ain't got his dad, he ain't got no one. They left him, they abandoned him. Bro, his mum, my mum, yeah. lived in the same city as him, bro. Sapphalin, yeah, okay. in Downstate, bro. But they were not talking to us at the time. So I watched this big man, like, wish for probably what he seen me have. You yeah. see what I'm saying, man? Even though, when he saw rest in peace, because he died, he died last year as well, yeah. Swear down. Yeah, man, he died last year as well. Like, 
he lived in my dad's in, in one of the first houses my dad built after the house we lived in mm. yeah, in Warri my dad built a yard and sat there and yeah. my dad lived there from when I left Nigeria mm. so my dad catered for him to a certain degree but I remember what it was like being in Nigeria right? like, mm. I remember going to school and coming home and my dad's come back from England yeah. and he's brought bare stuff from my siblings in, in England yeah? Yeah. and I just remember the feeling of walking thinking well, I got to London one day I got to London one day because I'm too young to have been asked like that question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, that's probably like six or something. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I remember that feeling of wanting to be there. Yeah. You know? So while I'm here, I've got one brother here. Yeah. yeah. My brother Eva is older than me. Yeah. Or well, he was born here. These people I speak of when I say my brother's never made it here, they weren't born here. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They never got a chance to come to England to experience this thing. Man. Mm. Whether good or bad, because some people say England's trash, some people say they it's yeah. a land of opportunity. Yeah. Whether good or bad, whatever it may be, just to get that extra opportunity. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That I know what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It goes beyond um my, some of my bridges never made it. So yeah. it goes beyond any of those things. It yeah. goes beyond my, my bridges in Nigeria and my, my blood brothers, Henry and Raymond. And my bridge is here, I've got bridges that died, like Jim, um, my bridge is Jermaine, Jermaine Abbott. My man got shot in a car in Lava Grove yeah. by his bridge. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my other bridge was in the car, he got shot in his arm, but Jermaine Abbott died. Like, there's a shooting that happened in Nando's, yeah? Mm -hmm. When you do your history in Shepherd Bush back in the day, Jermaine shot this prayer in Nando's. So, there's a lot of animosity around Jermaine's name. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it was another prayer from the neighborhood that he, that got shot yeah. in Nando's, but Jermaine was very loved. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's my guy to this day, but people like him, bro, like, that just never had the opportunity to be, for man to sit them down and give them some proper schooling. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying, bro? So, where I am now, and things are elevating, and I remember all the fuckery that I went through yeah. to get to this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I my brother's never made it here, bro. Mm. Like, bear my brother never get a chance to even come here and fuck it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether good or good or bad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So that one day I only want to lie to you, bro. You see that hook, bro? It fucking means so much to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, whoever fully gets it or yeah. don't get it or like I feel like after yeah. after like go, after going back and seeing the video where you explain it, I was like, right, like yeah. The song did a lot more. Like the song was hard by itself, but yeah. just knowing the like the depth between the lines yeah. did something more for me. Yeah. So that's when, I went to, when I went to Nigeria, I went to look for these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drove across state, bro, mm. like to look for these people. Yeah. They didn't expect that me coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm. But I did that because, bro, there's just something in my fam. I don't yeah. like to explain it, but like there's something in man, and if I don't do this thing that's hanging on my heart. Yeah. In fact, I can't live. Yeah. Do you feel like, it's like from, from the memories from, like the memories that you had of them, do you feel like you just wanted to know how they are now? Yeah, and I don't, I don't even know if they hold on to it as much yeah, as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they seem so short. That you would come I, out. Yeah, and I thought to yeah. myself, bro, like, is man forgotten me or something? Yeah. It's like you blew me, like. Yeah, I ain't like, forgotten, man. Like, yeah, I need yeah, man, like. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Like, because man's the truth, blood. Like. Yeah. You gotta understand, man's the truth, blood, like, because that's your that's your early years, blood. Like. When you're five and you got bridges when you're six, yeah. that's your early years, yeah, you know, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. That, so, so when money comes, when you're in your 20s, 30s, whatever, money comes, bro, that's more important, blood. Like. Yeah. Because them man, they know you for know you, bro. Yeah. You got what I'm saying, bro? And you know them for know them, man. Yeah. But it's the, bro, friendship's deeper than what man understands. Yeah, yeah, no, for real. No, I hear that, though. Friendship's a deep thing, you know? Mm. Trust me. And friendship's so, you know, a deep thing. It's weird as well. It's, it's weird for you as well because, like, growing up in, in the UK, I know, like, the, I know all my friends that I was in nursery with. Mm. So imagine me doing nursery year one, year two. And then get taken away, like yeah, you don't see them. And then don't see again. none of them again. Bro, my brother was in a fire, bro. My brother Nano, bro. Uh -huh. Bro, it was me that used to go to his yard in the morning. Yeah. For him to exercise, he wouldn't exercise, bro. His mom used to call my house 
and I used to go to his house, but that must have been like seven. Yeah. And I, that, only when I came, he would exercise and do oh, the yeah. stretches and all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this was my guy, bro. Mm. This was my guy, bro. Like, you know, like my guy, bro. <laughs> like, so you, uh, so you, uh, you, you also talk about Raymond, like your other brother, yeah. and how like you, you was in a jail with him or yeah. something like that, and you had like that intimate moment. And yeah, before yeah, you met bro, him, man. this is like basically Raymond was. You see, when you're young, yeah, yeah. I'm like the last born oh, okay. of my mum. Okay. Yeah? My dad's got one more son that we found out about in the eighties. Late, yeah. But in terms of my family, like in me, like how we thought it was going, I was the last born. Yeah. So I've got these brothers that are like thirty years older than me. Okay, yeah. Like they're way older than yeah. me. So when I was like four, these giant brothers are walking yeah. around the yard yeah. playing Bob Marley. And <laughs> they look like they look like their head touched the ceiling. And, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Raymond was the bro who. I don't know fam, you know whenever I saw him fam, I just remember grinning fam yeah. and he used to cut my hair, he used to cut my hair with, with a comb, yeah. with scissors, with a with comb and a, and a razor blade The blade thing, yeah And he used to cut my hair like that, I remember outside the house, you know what I'm saying, in the yeah. driveway where my dad used to park, park his car Yeah That's how he used to cut my hair bro, and I remember little bits of but my dad smoking outside the house and my dad being angry, I just remember looking up to this prayer yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was dark skin. I just remember this prayer, bro. <laughs> and then he was just a bad prayer, and he was mm. bad, bad stuff, blood. Like, my mother was in jail for 14 years, blood. He was in jail for 14 years, blood. And he come out, a year after he come out, blood, he died, blood. My man came off the back of a motorbike. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro? A motorbike, he was on the back of the motorbike, the motorbike crashed. My man died, blood. But the same 2009, Mm. When I'm saying I went to look for these brothers state to state looking for my yeah. brothers, I went to the jail to see my man. Yeah. And I took him food, I went there like a couple of days in a row. And we was in this place together, bro. Like, bro, I'm not sure about barling, bro. Like, him barling and him not believing that I was there. Yeah, yeah, like him saying. Bro, he couldn't believe I was there, fam. Was he happy or sad? Or he, was happy, he was happy, he was happy. He was happy to see bro, him. Bro, he was happy, blood. He was happy to see me, bro. Like, it was, it was, it was tears of joy. Yeah. But also mixed with sadness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But the joy of seeing your of seeing man, yeah, me seeing him, yeah, yeah, yeah. him seeing me, and me bringing all this stuff, me yeah. giving him money, like yeah. that, I think I kind of blew him away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, his tears went of sorrow yeah, or sadness. Yeah, yeah. I can see this brother's happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe that yeah, like, yeah. this is your okay, like, like, yeah. like, look at you, like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and you got to remember. Three years ago, I'd been shot. Okay, yeah, yeah. 2009, I got shot in 2006. So, me being there, like, there's bad stuff going through my mind. The fact that I'm still alive, dude, yeah. and being here to see you. To see you, you know what I'm saying? Like, well. yeah, fam. Yeah, it's yeah. Mad fam. So, when I'm crying, yeah. my tears was all over the place, bro. Yeah, yeah. It was joy, it was confusion, it was just like my little brother was, was by my side. He didn't okay. know what to think. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it was just like, so you wasn't even in the jail, like you didn't go to jail. No, you went. You went no, to I went to visit. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, we shed tears in that jail cell. So my brother Ray, Ray, yeah, I miss you, bro. Rest in peace, yeah. I'll see you up in heaven, though. I'm the realest, yeah. I'm the realest, yeah. I do this for my brothers, yeah. My brothers never got here. But well, you see that bar? When I listen back to that bar, it sounds like I, when I listen, when I like, you see, like for the first, because that's that's like that mixtape came out. What last year? Mm. Yeah, I wrote that bar. The end of probably 2019. Yeah. I wrote that bar. Yeah. yeah. So from 2019 to about maybe the end of last year, mm. that bar sounded to me how I wrote it. We shared tears in that jail cell because we was in the jail. We yeah, weren't yeah, in the yeah. we weren't in the visiting room. Yeah. yeah. We was in, was the, in jail. the jail. Like so they like took you. They let me in. Yeah, because this prayer was bro. He was it was like my brother was someone in the yeah, like jail yeah, yeah. so. We had we went into the actual jail yeah. itself, yeah, so to like his house, basically. to a certain degree, yeah, yeah. So it was like, and he made it even more like, bro, and it's mad, fam. And everyone, this bro, you gotta get that one money, you gotta get that one money, and bro, and it's other jail, other jail people, like prisoners yeah. that are seeing you, and they know you're like yeah. not from there, like yeah. you're like, and everyone's asking for money, and bro, bro, yeah. bro, the thing was mad, fam. You feature on Uncle Bim's yeah. song Live or Die from yeah. his 2020 EP LAS, yeah? yeah. And 
listening to that, I really like I like the tune, but I really like your your first as well because it sounds like you're talking about someone else. Yeah, I will have. Do you find it easier talking about other people's stories or your own or where when do you choose when to talk about other people's stories? From on that occasion it felt better to talk about it in that way yeah. because of the title and the tune yeah. and because I wanted to be more like I wanted to be more I wanted to give the listener something a bit more than my life. Yeah yeah cool. Like because I've not I don't I never made the mis mistakes like that. Yeah. But I've been around better men that have. Yeah yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm gonna pick a man's story and tell you about it so hopefully you don't go for it. But mm. I haven't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I need you to understand this live or die thing is it's mad important. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I'm just trying to draw on experience for that one. Yeah. But in terms of when I more than not I'm gonna do my life. Yeah, yeah. But it's one or two depending on the topic yeah. that I might need to come from it from a different angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so it sounds different. Mm -hmm. So it's not about because I've got bridges that know me, know me from yeah. when I was younger and yeah. they don't really want to listen to my music. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's how it felt. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. On, cause sometimes it will be their bridges yeah. that I don't know that well that yeah. will be like, well, blood your bridges are hard. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. to them, they're hearing it, stuff they already know happens. Yeah. And they and it makes them feel sad. Yeah. Because they okay. they they either wasn't there they when the thing happened to me or they was around and they couldn't do nothing to help me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's harder for some of them people to listen to it, you feel me? So like, mm. it's, um, it's a bad one still. You, was, you were sectioned in 2010 and 2014 yeah. and the P and PTSD from being shot yeah. five times in 2006, yeah. So like, from, from hearing like how you talk on your Insta and all of that, how did you get from from that situation to where you are now, because like if I'm looking at you face brand new, yeah, like it just feels like you're in a good place, you get. It? Yeah. But like I would have never thought like this situation happened, and I've got a brother that's been section. My brother's section right now, like he's doing hospital. So like, can you tell us a little bit about like the mental health side and and your journey from? from that situation to, to now. Okay, so all of it's ongoing. Like okay, in terms cool. of like, like the, from when you've had trauma happen in your yeah, life, yeah. Or whatever it may be, mm. yeah. It might be, you might have been abandoned as a child, you never had no parents, yeah. it might have been abused as a child, whatever yeah. it may be, like my trauma was maybe a bit of an abandonment issue. I never had a mom growing up. Yeah. And so I never had that love, love thing that yeah. a lot of people get when they have a mother in their life. Mm. And then obviously being shot, yeah. Mm -hmm. So these traumas stay with you constantly, forever. Yeah. So you've got to constantly do the work forever. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's basically the trick. Mm -hmm. It's forever. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So the work don't stop. Okay. So and then for, like the most important thing for me, and I can't not mention it, is faith, bro. Okay. It's my relationship with God. With God. Like yeah. if you tell me, bruh, bro. I can look at you right now and I can say, right, you look like you're in a good place in life. Yeah. All I can say is find speak to God. Yeah. Because that's the number one thing. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. got me here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But in terms of PTSD, PTSD is a real thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. So it's basically a label, but it's a label given to feelings and things that happen to you after you've been a through a traumatic experience. Yeah. yeah. yeah? So the main thing for me was anger, yeah, and an understanding of what's happened to me and yeah. what this forgiveness thing is. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So you asked me earlier about right, the forgiveness thing and do I forgive and pray for my enemies? Yeah. yeah. Now, all those things didn't happen overnight. Yeah. yeah. We're in 2021 now as we speak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was sectioned in 2014. Mm. That's a little bit of time. Yeah. That's like seven years. Yeah. Before two, my dad's died last year, my brother died last year. Mm. There's loads of stuff that's happened yeah. since the last time I was sectioned. Yeah. Yeah. If I tell you my mum came to England in 2016 for the first time in 40 years, bro. My mum was sectioned, bro, when she was here. Mm. Because yeah. things happen mm. and people miscommunicate and people 
had rage. Yeah, and it just, yeah. And things explode. Yeah. My mum found herself in a hospital and they sectioned my mum, bro. Imagine being on holiday, you don't even really, of course, my mum can speak English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. But I don't really want to vibe, vibe into that. So that's another thing altogether. Yeah. To go back into what you're saying to yeah. is, it's taken hard work, mm. yeah. It's taken faith, it's taken grace, and it's taken something that I try to explain. I think it's on the second mixtape where I talk about routine. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the second. Is it cold, cold calls? Yeah, one? I believe that's like a yeah. skit. Yeah. No, cold calls is the one about you talk about like the mental health and also about like your mom and that. No, no, but in the mixtape I speak oh, about okay, there's cool. a skit where I talk about routine. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And I explain that your root because the word routine. Yeah, when you look at it, it's got root in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So literally, I was chilling at home one day, mm. and literally, God hit me with that. Yeah, yeah. nobody showed me it. I never read it nowhere. Mm. I'm sitting there, and I thought, bro, root in, you know, like, because that's how that's we say it, or you vote in yeah, Nigeria. Yeah, for that means white people. Yeah. You vote. So <laughs> how are you both come up with these words? <laughs> uh, like these words are crazy, yeah. isn't it? Like, they come from. Whether they come from Greek times yeah, or whatever, yeah. Latin, all these different words are yeah. most amalgamated. We have English. Yeah, um, yeah. So some words are are French words, really. Yeah. And so, and some are Latin and some are descriptive. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But no one tells you none of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't tell you in English, and Latin, they don't tell you what it's in GCSE. But for me, I was hit with that one day, and for me, that's like a big part of what's kept me going. Yeah. Because you see, when you get I were locked in jail, yeah. um, get sectioned, yeah. Yeah, which was for me. They put you under a routine. Yeah. So you eat the same time every day. Yeah. Food served at eight, yeah. served at 12, served at five. Mm. Every day, mm. do you get what I'm saying? They're doing that because once your brain gets into uniform, yeah. you can do more things. Like once your brain gets into uniform, like into a uniform flow, yeah, you know. then you can do more stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just how our brain, our brain works. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So for me, with all this whole mental health stuff, it's routine, mm. yeah, exercise, yeah, and purpose. Yeah. Like me focusing more on purpose, mm. like what I feel my purpose is, yeah. has helped me to kind of be more, more on course. And the more I'm on course, people are dropping off. Mm. People that aren't meant to be on that journey with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the trouble that comes with mental health, depression and da da da, a lot of the times, it's not you. Yeah. It's yeah. what you're engaging in. Yeah, yeah, And it, that, I can speak on that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when my brother does come out, cause he's around the same with Fryman, he yeah. just goes straight back. And I feel like for him, but he's skips. I'll give you a big one. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. yeah? Because if you're saying it's schizophrenia, you gotta understand, you see the medicine yeah. that they give you while you're in hospital. Because yeah, yeah. I was given medication in hospital. Yeah. The side effects of this medication mm. is schizophrenia. Yeah. A lot of the side oh, effects. Yeah. So a lot of men go in hospital yeah. and they run these meds without no tactics of how to kind of move on the meds. Yeah. And they end up taking on all the other stuff that comes with the side effects. Because it says it on the list, there's a list of bad stuff that comes with yeah, yeah, taking yeah. all this medication. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And another thing, a big thing, is shame. Mm. Yeah. You see, when you said something about your brother now and come back and being in the same environment, yeah. You see, shame, shame will stop you from letting yourself grow okay. out of a situation like depression. Yeah. Because to grow, you need to conversate. Yeah. You need to tell people. You need to talk. Mm. But because of shame and how you feel you might be perceived or how people might look at you. You're limited to the people that already know. Yeah. So the, the the five or six or ten people that know you got section, mm. and maybe two or three of them are part of the reason you got section. Yeah. You end up just being around them still. Okay. Because cool. you don't want to step out. Because you don't know what half the people in your school, in your secondary school, or in your college, mm. if they heard or if they know. Yeah. Or does man does man from Grove know? Was man heard? Or is man from here know? So a lot of men are limited to how they can move in trying to come out of a depression or okay. coming out of that section in time of their life yeah. if they've been sectioned or so you end up doing, making the same mistakes again yeah. you end up going back on the same drugs yeah. that happened to push you down that road in the yeah. first place because you're around that same circle still mm. so, and you're seeing them doing the same things and they seem alright 
and you was all right on one stage when you was doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just it might be drink even and trauma blood. Yeah, people don't really understand what trauma is. Like trauma will keep you stuck in time. Yeah, because the number one thing with trauma, you will play the what if game. Oh, mm. uh, what if? What if? What if I didn't do that? Or what if when my man said I should have come with him, I didn't go? And then what if just turns into like a rabbit hole? Yeah. And you're just going in it, and you're just in it, and you're just in it, and you're just in it. And loads of people get stuck in time. Yeah. With me, what I tried my best to do was to walk with, walk in the shame. I take yeah. it down. Cool. Yeah. Man didn't let me down. It happened. Like, cool, innit? I decided not to go back and look for man. Yeah. If you want to ask me why, I can tell you why. I will walk on road and pick up my daughter and yeah. push my push the pram. Yeah, I was the brain I used to shop crack and heroin way back when, but no, I don't do that no more. Yeah. All that money's gone now. Yeah. And yes, I'm gonna push this pram and I'm not driving anymore. Yeah. And if you wanna laugh, you can laugh and it's yeah. cool. And you see when you take on that shame, then, it, you then you can turn it into a win. Okay. But if you won't even take the L in the yeah, then you can grow. But yeah. if you don't even take the L, which mm. a lot of people won't. Yeah, like they'll just try to push it aside. Uh-huh. And then, happen. And then and you happen. can't grow it. Do you feel like But can you still push it to to the side and grieve? Like do you feel like like when I say grieve like do you feel like with situations if you don't take it on, but push it to your side, can you still move on, or would that? You can, of course, you can move on, but I don't think you can move on fully. Oh, okay. I don't think you can move on and be the best you. Okay. If cool. something significant happened in your life yeah. and you just ignored it, mm, okay. Cool. How can you move on in the right way? Yeah, yeah for real. Because that's basically a puzzle that you've left, like undone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's all puzzles, isn't it? The people yeah. we meet. The experiences we have, mm-hmm. they're all puzzles as you get older and older and older. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. And if you don't check these puzzles and make sure, yeah, that's intact, that's intact, mm-hmm. that, that's there, boom, everything's there, you, then you're walking, leaving, you've left that. Mm-hmm. You've left that bit. At some point, it's going to come back and get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be at a point where you're low and yeah. money might be tight. Okay. And then that, all that just comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because yeah. you didn't deal with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So it's just, for me, Dealing with the shame, finding the routine, sticking to it, giving giving it all to God, bro. Mm-hmm. Literally giving it all to God, and then walking in my purpose. Yeah, like literally walking in it and owning it, regardless of who thinks whatever they think. Yeah, and that's probably the hardest thing to do yeah. to turn your head and turn your back on the world. Yeah, and just say, right, I'm gonna focus on these gifts that God's given me, mm-hmm. and that's what I'm gonna focus on. Yeah, like one of my main gifts. I'll give you a good example. Is when I was little, in terms of when I was like 14, 15, mm. I was told a lot in school, oh, there's something about your voice, there's yeah. something about your voice. Yeah. And as I got older, mm. it might be gal, it might be man then, it might be people like me while I'm doing some sort of job. Yeah. My voice just kept on spoken about over and over again, your oh. voice, there's something about your voice. <laughs> so for me, that's a reminder, and we all have it. Yeah, we yeah. all have things that people reminded you of as you were growing. Yeah, it might yeah. have been, bro, you're really funny, you know? Yeah. Oh, Listen, sis, you're really good at yeah, yeah, communicating. Yeah. Or you're really, there's different stuff that yeah, we're all really good gifts, at, yeah, yeah. but we don't tap into it. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as I started tapping into these things and purposefully tapping into them, yeah. boy, it was just, bro, things were just happening. But like I said, the most important thing is it doesn't stop. Yeah, yeah, the bro. work don't stop when it's it comes to mental health. It's a constant thing. Yeah, yeah. At any point, you think the work's done and you need to stop and you can go back to normal. Yeah. It ain't happening, bro. Like. I've got to stretch and exercise every day, yeah. or at least stretch every day. Mm. I have to do that. Yeah. These little things are a part of my routine. Yeah. So, like anyone that's gone through depression, any type of mental health issue, if you don't carry on the work, you ain't gonna see the results because yeah. you're not like John and Peter yeah. and Daniel, who ain't never been through any drama yeah. or any trauma. Most people, that's what a the therapist told me. Most people in this world don't go through trauma. Your average person doesn't really go through trauma. The average person don't get shot. Yeah. The average person don't get stabbed. The yeah. average Joe. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the average. Do you know what I mean? The average person has a mum and a dad. The yeah. average person. So these people that are kids that have been abandoned, left on the doorstep as a baby, or people that have been stabbed multiple times, bro. Yeah. That trauma shit's real, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like PTSD, it's a real thing. It's a, it's a real thing. Yeah, no, thing, bro. Bro. And the work don't stop. Yeah, that's no. the advice I'm giving. That's good advice, man. Yeah, that's good advice. Stop, man. So like, 
Oh yeah, like condolences for your father again. Yeah, man. and your brother. Like I saw like your the send off on your Insta, yeah. and everything looked so like peaceful like that day. Yeah, is there like is there like a memory like of your dad that you will always hold to yourself? Because That's I wasn't so really nice. I wasn't really close to my dad in it. So when my dad died, my dad died like like four or five years ago, five six years ago, yeah. and. It's so weird. It's not weird because, of course, there's people out there who's who have that good connection with their dad. Yeah. Well, because I don't have it, it's like I always had to see like was there something that your dad taught you that you will always keep with you, like that one thing he taught you, or something he taught you from young but you didn't get until later on in your life. Yeah, no, but that drilled so much stuff in me. Yeah. Because like I said, I was raised by my dad. Yeah. And then what added onto that is when we come to England, mm. it was just me, my dad and my sister that okay. came together. Okay. And my sister was six years older than me. Mm. So she kind of left the yard and it was just me and my dad. Okay. So for so long, it was just me and him. So mm. to answer that question, there's so many, bro. There's okay. too many things, bro. Like there's so many things. But there was one thing he always used to say to me in terms of, so there was one thing I learned from my dad that I'll give you, yeah, like right. in terms of your word, yeah? yeah? Like that was from my dad, didn't it? Your that's word? That's one thing, yeah, your word, like, like keeping your word. Okay, cool. So yeah. like, if you, if, if yeah. like, I say we're gonna do this thing, yeah, like yeah. we're sitting down together, we're saying we're gonna do this thing, yeah. or you're saying, right, boom, yeah, boom, I'm gonna meet you at so, so, so place, yeah. and yeah, we're gonna get this thing done today. Yeah, yeah. Bro, we, we have, we to, have to do, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying, about, yeah, and yeah. that's one of the things that my man drilled into, man. But yeah. there's bare different things that he dropped in terms of. Yeah. I would sometimes ask him, like, what I should do about a particular situation, mm. and he would just be like, "Don't worry, like, it's all gonna be good. It's yeah. all gonna be fine. It's all gonna be well, type thing." Yeah. Yes. And I only really understand that now. Yeah. Like I say it a lot now. When people send me little messages or someone says to me that they're going through certain things or da da da, it's a way of me praying for them. Yeah. All will be well, like, like. It's like he knows God's, God's, gonna, God's, God's already done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worry, that's man. it. You see, from when you're on path, mm. you that's it. Yeah, you got worry, man. Yeah, so you've got a daughter, innit? Yeah, enjoy. Yeah. It. Well, what's the what's the best thing about being a father? Like, she's taught me about love, fam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, bro. She's taught me about love and like. Like I said, not having a mum, bro, I didn't really understand the importance of it yeah. until I started doing this music thing. Because the more I did the music, the more I understood certain emotions more. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I get it. I get what mums are there for. The love that I get off India mm. is unconditional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's what a mum gives you. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I've learned that from her. Yeah. I'm not saying the love my dad gave me was con unconditional or conditional. My dad just never really told me he loved me, so I never yeah, got it like that. Yeah, I never yeah, got no hugs or yeah, no love yeah, like yeah. that. But the thing with my daughter is just, bro, it's love, fam. Yeah. And it's and it's kind of softened man a little bit. Yeah. To be able to protect, even me. move with my my missus in a better way. Yeah. Okay. That's you right. know what I'm saying, like. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, bro, it's just love, bro, man. It's love, man. It's love, bro, man. It's real love, and it's on, like, there's no type of game being played. There's nothing like it's just. It's just yeah. real, bro. Yeah, that's it's real, bro, man. That is real, man. Cool. So, what's next for you, like? Okay, like, so I got these. Um, you dropped away. You dropped. What's the, uh, the last one? Was not really? I feel the vibe. No, no, back to the music. Back to the music. Back to the music. Back to the music. Like that one. So I've got, I've got two more. That that should be coming, probably like this month, yeah. in March, or at least one's gonna drop in March. It's either gonna be gratitude or it's gonna be. Um, what you know about it features a guy called 10 years. Okay. So I filmed that already. I yeah, already yeah. filmed it. It's already kind of edited. And I should be shooting gratitude this week sometime. Cool. And it's going to be basically one of those two. And then after that, I've got a tune called G Checker. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And another tune that's produced by um, Angel. Yeah. Yeah, Angel. And it features what, Angel? Angel? Yeah. The okay. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Angel, yeah. And it features Propane. Um, okay, cool. And after that video, I think that's when I'm gonna drop the best of Ox Monica Sub. Okay. And that's basically just gonna be like songs, some one or two may not maybe unheard of, like yeah. then on other people's projects. 
Mm. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna pick certain songs from the different projects that are all original songs. Yeah. And I'm gonna just put all that on Spotify. Best of what's Monica Sun and then, Sick. Yeah, man. And then, literally, as soon as I've done that, I'm jumping onto the whole Bounty Well thing and just calling on that. Cool, that's sick. Sick, sick. Yeah, man. Hard, hard. Uh, any questions for me? Um, what would you, because obviously, like, you're somebody new to listening to my music. Yeah. Like, how easy was, would you say, it was to listen to my music? It, it was good. Like, I feel like, I feel like you know who you are as an artist. Yeah. And I feel like it's real. And that, like, at the beginning when I said, like, you sprinkle gems. And I feel like when you rap, you rap with heart. Even though, like, there's stories that you talk about as that. But the whole, like, what I get from it is like, yeah, this shit's happened to me. But, like... I thank God, didn't it? Like I'm in a good place, kind of thing, yeah. innit? Or I'm growing with what that's going on, and I really like that, innit? I like it's refreshing hearing music that's real, because I feel like nowadays people just make music to make music, generic music. So when you do hear a project where you're speaking your truth and it's just authentic to you, yeah. it does something for the listener, innit? Yeah. So I really enjoyed it. No, I'm glad, man. I'm glad, I'm glad. It's just for me, it's just. I don't think, because I've not really done enough shows. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the one thing after lockdown. Yeah. That's the one thing that I really want to start doing as well is getting that connection with listeners. Yeah. Like face to face and giving them these songs. I did say it, I did say it in my notes. What what song was it? What song I said something about grafting, stay grafting will sound hard with a life band. Yeah. And when I was listening to it, I was like, I, that's one of the songs I could Hey, oh, like, that's like one of my favorite songs. Still. Yeah, like, I like that too. That was like my life. That was one of my favorite songs for like a good two years. Yeah, like it still is. But that was one of my favorite songs for so long. I can hear like, like I can hear that. Song for so like long. if you were to do like a show tomorrow yeah, and you had to pick, yeah. I can hear you do that song with a live band yeah. and it going off in it. So yeah, man, good fun song. Yeah, cool. Good fun song. Where it. where can they see? Where can they find you? So, in terms of the socials, you can get me on the Instagram at underscore Ox for Real. Mm -hmm. You can get me on the Instagram as well at, at Bound to Blow. So that's Bound number two Blow. So that's the entertainment page. And then you got me on Twitter as in Ox for Real, but that's with no underscore, just Ox for Real. And yeah, man, just get me, get at me on the YouTube as well. YouTube, I'm gonna start doing a lot more on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. And that's just Ox Monica Sun. On the YouTube, man. So, yeah, man, I'm out here, man. But I look forward to doing a lot more for upcoming artists. Yeah, That's yeah. where my heart really lies. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, man, look out for this space, man. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank nice. you for doing this man. interview. Love, yeah. love, love, man. Guys, that's the next one. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Adios, adios, precious years. Then you don't. Adios, adios, precious years. Then you don't. Adios, adios. Just trying to let you know, but you see us, then you go. Think it's time to let you go.